Hey, what's up everybody? This is Muth24, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for the Master Raid Hyakushiki. This is the standard version that came out uh, quite a few years ago, uh, 2001, it says on the front there. Uh, I considered getting the HD color version for a while, and I actually was going to get that one until I saw that uh, a lot of places had run out of it, and the price had jumped drastically to the point where it was in the hundreds, and I really didn't want to spend that much for one Master Grade, so this is going to be the only one of my Zeta trio that isn't the HD color version, but you know what, I, I really don't mind so much, I think both of the colors of gold uh, look pretty cool in their own rights, so I'll be fine having just this, uh, you know, this very metallic, shiny gold, I think it looks really cool, very different for a mobile suit, and looks really cool in the model kit itself, um, from what I've seen in other reviews and stuff. Take a look at the box, you got the Hakushiki there on the front, you have one of the um, Space Colonies, I believe, there in the background, and you have the Zeta himself. There's a side. A little more simplistic than some of the newer uh, Master Grade boxes. You see like a pose of the beam saber, some rifles, all the weapons, showing how the foot uh, is detailed on the bottom there, and the rear skirt with the beam saber handles. On the other side, front shot, back shot, a uh, shot of the cockpit, the hands, the backpack with all the details there, and then the interior of the leg and the piston that moves. And then there's a shot of the Hyakushiki itself. Popping the top off of the box. Take a look at the contents. And as with a lot of the older Master Grades, you do get one of these little uh, cardboard inserts showing off the model kit itself. Pretty cool. So, here we have the first tree of parts. This is the A plate, I would imagine. Not, oh, nope, sorry, this is the B plate. So you have some of the uh, the wing pieces there. You have the skirt armor. Uh, looks like parts of the legs there. And then this one is the D plate. Uh, again, more parts of the wings. Uh, leg armor. Looks like some of the arm gauntlets. Uh, shoulder armor, I think there. Uh, here we have the very dark navy and the red pieces. Uh, very few parts on the kit, but they do stand out quite a bit because they're like in the torso area. So you have the chest. The uh, waist unit, part of the neck, I believe. Uh, you got the pilot figure of Char there in red. Pilot figure sitting. Uh, you got the hoses and stuff that are going to go on this kit. Uh, next plate, we have another set of two gold ones, smaller. Again, just more of the shoulder armor, uh, the legs, the arms, I think. Uh, tops of the shoulders there. Same thing on the other side. Uh, these are some grape parts for the interior, a lot of the other mechanics, small rings and details. There's the uh, drive transfer decals with the Hyakushiki logo and the AUG symbols, and then the uh, foil stickers for the eyes, and then the uh, traditional sheet of clear stickers for all the little markings and extra details that you might want to put on the kit. Uh, next one we have some more dark gray, again for the interior with the legs there, feet, uh, more of the legs, so on and so on. Here we have the very small trees of the red, and this is actually a darker red than a lot of kits have. It's kind of a cool, uh, not quite maroon, but definitely toward that uh, end of the spectrum for the feet. And then finally we have the dark gray, navy-ish, but actually it's more black, isn't it? Yeah, it's black for like the interior of the skirts there, and then the uh, bazooka. You can see that well. And then the energy clips for the back of the rifle, um, some poly caps for all throughout the kit, and then the yellowish beam sabers that you have there. Very cool color for the Hyakushiki. And then finally, we have the instruction manual, which is a gold on the outside. Uh, old style of instruction manual there with just the gray in the front and the head in the middle, but uh, definitely a little bit more flashy than other ones. So we got a list of the parts and runners there have a list of uh, how to pull, or, well, instructions on how to clip the pieces off if you're new to this. Uh, then we start building, it looks like, with the arms. Interesting place to start. Uh, then go for the legs, or is that actually the upper part of the leg? I'm honestly not sure. I guess you start with the arms and the legs at the same time, like start, start from opposite ends, like build it top down and then go down and up and then put the legs together. There's some middle shots showing the uh, uh, Hyakushiki in action. There it is with the uh, Cubile. And there it is with the Double Zeta, which is kind of interesting. I haven't watched Double Zeta again, so maybe there's some sort of a connection with it in that series. 
Um, and they're showing off the front, the back, the legs, the back with the weapons loaded up, more of the weapons. Have the kit being put together again with the waste unit, the cockpit, putting the chest on, the external stuff for the chest and the backpack, attaching the hoses, making the wings, putting the weapons together, and then putting all the final pieces on the kit. And then how to clip on the weapons, the beam saber handles, the bazookas, uh, the rifle, and then where all these stickers and de decals go on the kit. And finally, a back shot to uh, you know complement the little cardboard insert there. So yeah, this is definitely an older kit, um, and I think that shows just with the you know fewer number of trees you get uh, and, and runners. Um, but I also think that it's a really cool looking master grade um, and just mobile suit in general uh, and. For me, Zeta Gundam is one of the best, I think, old Gundam series. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily my favorite of the, the whole Gundam series as, you know, as a collective, but um, I definitely like it as, as one of the classic old sci-fi shows. Um, it's definitely the Empire Strikes Back of the Gundam series, if you will. So, this should be pretty cool to build. Uh, will definitely look uh, pretty eye-popping on the shelf just because of the, the color and the, just the look of the mobile suit overall. Um, but yeah, this is my first non-Gundam Gundam kit in the Master Grid line, at least. So that should be uh, pretty cool to see it all put together. And with that, I will see you guys next time.